How we doing? This is Fox again for Sound Design Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a nice pad with uh, Silent 1. Uh, it didn't take me long to make this, I just thought I'd try and make a pad because I haven't done one yet and uh, this is what I came up with. A spacey sort of pad, fair bit of movement with an LFO on the pitch and the volume, quite a lot of effects as well, distortion, phaser, chorus, delay and reverb. I've got a bit of compression on the master channel, tiny little bit of EQing but nothing too stressful. So yeah we'll get down to it pretty quick, I'm going to init this preset. I'm going to go to start on part A as always. Oscillator 1 I used a tri saw. I kept the octave plus one. Sorry, we'll go to part A, like I said. Try saw, octave plus one. Kept the phase, detune, stereo, and pan exactly where it was for this first one. Uh, I didn't do anything. The only thing I did was give it four voices. <coughs> Oscillator two, I used a standard triangle wave. I gave this four voices as well. Uh, I set the phase to this around about 120 degrees. Detune about 1.7. Kept the stereo in the pan where it was. Kept this octave on zero. I'm going to go ahead and set the envelope up now because it's a pad we want quite a long ish attack. Sustain level on full. And a, li a bit of release to about four. I'm going to copy this and paste this to part B. I'm going to use the same amp envelope to control both. Just gives us a little bit of time for the volume to reach, ma reach maximum output. Uh, the filter I use for this is a bandpass. This is a neat trick when you're doing a pad to sweep a bandpass across the spectrum. It gives it that nice sort of spacey feel. What it does is it you only hear whatever's inside the bandpass filter. So as you sweep it using an envelope, it gives it a nice bit of movement to the sound. I set the drive for this filter quite high as well to about two. Kept on a 24 decibel. Cut off for the master filter. I kept dead center resonance where it was. I click the warm drive button for the master filter. And as I say, I use an envelope to open this filter up. I'm going to set it for cutoff A and B because I use the same envelope to do both filters. Push it around to about 2.953. Quite a long attack on this. In between 6 and 7. Decay level to about 3. Sustain all the way up and release to about the same as what we've got on the amp envelope, about 4. So this is going to gradually uh, open the filter up as the sound progresses. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, we'll go to part B now. <coughs> so for part B, the wave I used was the second pulse one, whatever it is, half pulse, H pulse. Uh, I set this down one octave to give us sort of the lower elements of the sound. Push the phase around to 180 degrees, give it a nice bit of wideness, and the detune around to about 1.9. Stereo and pan exactly where it was. I gave this one six voices to really beef up the lower aspects of the sound. It's, it, it adds a lot more uh, character to the sound rather than ju you're just using a square wave to create to keep your, your lower sound. Uh, the filter for this I used is a low pass filter. Pull the cutoff down about 24 hertz and the same envelope is now going to be modulating this to open it up. The drive for this one I set pretty much the same amount as filter to A, about 2.8. Push the polyphony up to maximum because we're going to be playing some quite big chords. It's going to turn the volume down slightly because we're.
are starting to clip. on that happy medium so you're just sitting below the red you can see on this limiter down here when it starts to clip perfect uh, oscillator B2 I pulled down one octave as well to help give me some more lower end and this one is a bog standard saw wave voices are set to 4 I detune this quite a lot about 5.7, no phase, volume, all of the volumes on full. So with a saw wave as well. Okay, we're getting there. Um, I used quite a lot of effects on this, as I said. I used some distortion. I normally use the fold-back distortion on a pad. It seems to be quite nice. And I, I always use an envelope to wash the amount in. I pulled the dry wet back to about... 25%. So I'm going to set envelope mod envelope 2 up for the distortion amount. I'm, I'm going to use this envelope to push this round as the sound progresses. So the amount for this, it's not going to be that much really. About 1.8, so it's going to push it round to about there. But it just helps warm the mid part of the sound up. It's a nice little effect. Pretty much the same envelope for as what we've got for mod envelope one, just a slightly longer attack on this, no decay, it's a stone level on full, no release. <laughs> I am going to use some phaser as well. I don't normally like to use a phaser on a pad, I normally like to use a chorus, but I've used both on this one. That's the LFO going crazy, what you can hear there. So we'll turn the rate down to 4 over 1, so it's going to take 1 bar, I think that is. I never really understand these ratios. The LFO gain, I'm going to pull down to 0 0.8. I'm going to use mod envelope 2 to wash the LFO round as well. Mod envelope 2, LFO 1 gain. Push it around ever so slightly, just about 0 0.7, 0 0.6. So you're going to hear this um, LFO is going to come in towards the end of the uh, towards the end of the notes. So I'm going to set this up in a minute. Center frequency spread, offset width. Pull the dry wet of the phaser LFO down. Yeah, sorry, I was getting ahead of myself there because I see LFO in here. I've set this up. I use a LFO one to control the pitch and the volume for oscillators A and B. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set this up now so you can hear that, and I'm going to do the rest of the effects afterwards. So yeah, I kept it on a saw uh, sine wave. Push the rate around to 1 over 8 so it's quite quick. Offset gain all the way down to 0. And this little tiny bit we've pushed it up is going to push the LFO gain, which is a volume in effect around to 0 0.8 so towards the end the, uh, the attack the attack time on the envelope is going to mean you're only going to hear the LFO towards the end of the lower the longer notes we need to set a destination and it is pitch AB and volume AB so the pitch and the volume of both oscillator A and B tiny little bit on each probably 0 0.5 on each Gives it a nice little tremolo effect, but it's faded in because we've got an envelope on the gain. Um, the other effects I use, I use a chorus and a phaser. Again, something that I don't normally do. I was just messing around with the effects, and it seemed to help help everything feel a bit wider. Kept it on dual mode. Feedback about 20%. Width all the way around. Pull the keep the drive where it is actually. A delay as well. Get a delay on ping pong. Give it a bit of low cut. I only wanted it to delay the higher end of the sounds. Push these around all, all the way around to so they're both on half notes. Smear them to about three percent. 
spread dead center, pull the feedback back a little bit, and the draw back to about the same, about 40%. You're only really going to hear the delay when you let go of the notes because of all the other effects you got going on, but that's what I wanted. Nice transition between chords. I use a reverb as well. Um, I really like the reverb within Silent. For a lot of people say that they don't for some reason. you just got to be careful with how you use it. you got to don't use any pre-delay. It's a real jittery pre-delay in this. And keep an eye on the, t the size. Anything sort of above six or seven in my eyes you're really going to start to wash over the sound pull the width back as well and the dry wet back to about 42 percent works ever so well with the delay the reverb um this is where silent really is limited in my eyes the modulation i mean Look at the modulation destinations, what is there? 25. When you put into context this new synth I've got called Synthmaster has got 600 modulation destinations. It's just, I can see why people use Silent as a beginner's tool because it's real basic and easy to get to grips with. It's not what I started on, but believe it or not, I jumped straight into Massive. I watched a few tutorials and got straight into that, but yeah, I can see why people use it. It's a real versatile synth Silent, but a bit limited in the modulation. For now though, that is the, uh, that's the sound done. Nice simple pad done within Silent. As always, make sure you check out my YouTube channel if you're not subscribed and you like this video. It's www.youtube.com forward slash MrNFox22. Subscribe buttons appear. We've got loads more videos from Massive, as I say, New Synth I've bought Synth Master and the Virus TI. Tweet me at Sound Design Tuts if you've got any questions or requests. I've been doing quite a few lately. I did a Dubai style bass. I did uh, the bass for My Love, which is on ADSR. If you're not subscribed, check over that. Go over there and subscribe to them as well, because I do some videos for them. That's www.youtube.com forward slash ADSR Okay, thanks again for watching. Cheers.